You ready to go to bed with me? In order to take my makeup off, the first step is a makeup wipe. I'm told you're supposed to be really light on your skin, especially around the under eye area, but I don't always practice what I preach. My mom is a painter, and I've been told by a lot of makeup artists that I work with that they are essentially also painters, but their canvas is a person's face. In order to remove the makeup around the eyes, sometimes I like to use a Q-tip to really get in there. And I typically use an oil-free makeup remover. The next step is to cleanse your face. Face is Italian for face. Maybe I just made that up. I don't know. I put two pumps of Dr. Sturm's cleanser and then I mix that with my exfoliant. It is a enzyme cleanser, also by Dr. Sturm. You just put it in your hand and you mix it with water. All right. The exfoliant helps really get into the pores and get rid of that dead skin. Also removes the makeup if anything's been left behind that the makeup wipes were not able to get. And then again, I use warm water to rinse. All right. And I pat the face dry. I use Dr. Sturm's hyaluronic acid, which allows for all kinds of moisture and water and plumpness to get into the skin. Sometimes I mix it with the super anti-aging serum, mainly because it sounds cool, because it's super anti-aging serum. For no reason in particular, just because it saves time and I'm a busy lady. The reason why I love Dr. Sturm's products, well at first she was introduced to me by a friend of mine who works with her and who has beautiful skin. Dr. Sturm was the first person to come up with the vampire facial. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I get it. There's a double pun there because I used to be a vampire. It really works. Her vampire facials are amazing and all of her products are amazing. And I've honestly seen great results. Plus, she makes them in these little itty bitty containers. Look at them, they're so tiny, like smaller than my eyeball. Now they're bigger than my eyeball. They're like the size of my nose. And for somebody like me who travels a lot, I'm on a plane every other day, having travel size products is super important. Next up is lip moisturizer. I like to let my lips get some face cream as well. The face cream of the lips. This is a Lactane en Provence, which I, if I have to be honest with you, I got this in one of those little travel size things on the plane. Stole this from the airport, not from the terminal. It was given to me. Next up is, and keep in mind, I don't use this every day. I use it maybe twice a week and before big red carpets so that I get that nice glow. This is called a Desi mask. It is um, a product that I, Weirdly enough, initially saw on Kate Hudson on her Instagram. She posted a photo using it and I reached out to her and asked her what that was because she looked like Jason, the killer, um, and I was scared at first and then she told me what it does and then I was very, very excited by it. It makes you look creepy though, so get ready. See what I'm saying? Total Jason vibes. So the way you do this is you take this little command center thing, you turn it on, so I usually either use mode one, which is red light for anti-aging, or I use mode five, which is the red light and the blue light combined, which helps with healing. So for example, if you have a pimple like I do, and you happen to have popped it like I often do, which you shouldn't do, but like I said, I'm guilty, it heals your pimples really fast. Like you can have an open pimple, put the mask on, and then when you take the mask off, it's gone. It's crazy. It's magic. 
Anywho, you press, you decide how much time you want it to be, and then you press the light, and then you sit and wait for a while. I usually text or watch TV or read a book or read a script, but it's awesome. Once the mask is done, I like to moisturize. And at night specifically, I use a thicker moisturizer like La Mer. And that way you have all night for it to soak in and really work its magic. La Mer is especially special because it was originally created, fun little fact, for burn victims. And it repaired their cells so well when they had third degree burns that they decided they should probably rebrand and use it as face cream because it has so many healing properties. This is one that I use a couple times a week and or before big red carpets when I want that extra dewy glow. Oh. And I like to put it under the eyeballs as well. Something I've learned from makeup artists is that you should pat the under eye area as opposed to rubbing it because it saves you from getting wrinkles maybe a few days earlier than you would have otherwise. Now, if I'm having a little bit of an outbreak or a pimple or an uninvited friend that has made my face their home, I consult my friend La roche Posay. This is a spot treatment that you only need a very little amount of. It's got retinol in it and you just zap them basically like an eviction notice for your face. You tell them they gotta go find somewhere else to squat. I have two last things before I go night nights. And the first of the two is, the first is very attractive. I put in my bite. That's right, another vampire pun. But bite is, my retainer that I wear before I go to sleep. Sexy. It actually is sexy. You can't even, even see it. It just doesn't sound very sexy because you have a lisp. Technically, I'm supposed to wear this during the day too, but let's be real, I don't. Now the true final step is my sleep mask. This way, everyone knows exactly how to proceed when waking me up. Don't. Sleep is important to me, so just go away. Bye guys.